Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're going to look at the Turtle Beach Velocity One flight system. And we're going to look specifically at how to switch between the different profiles because that's something which is important and which I also figured out myself uh, when using this um, nice joystick for the first time. So currently it has been set to the profile single engine prop, right? So it remembers the last setting which uh, you used, uh, let's say, uh, which you used the joystick for. And to change the profile, you need to press either this button, right, the up or the down button, uh, which will bring you to this menu. And then in this menu, you can go to the profile option, which you can access using the second button over here. If you press that option, you'll see multiple things here. So it can be set to either default single engine prop or twin engine jet. So the default single engine prop and twin engine jet, uh, those different profiles also tell flight simulator how to use the joystick itself because for example if you look at the uh let's say levelers on the right side of the joystick they're working completely different in the twin engine jet compared to the single engine jet and even completely different in the default profile so let's assume we want to fly the a320 right so then we're using the down button and we can do it like that and then press this one which will mark or selection once you've done that, you can go back using this button and then you see that the uh, profile has changed on top of uh, the display. Uh, so besides this, you need to do another thing to make sure that Flight Simulator also understands that, that it needs to use a profile. So let's switch to Flight Simulator and then go to the controls options. Inside the controls options, you will of course see your joystick, right? You can see the velocity one here and you can see another velocity one here. So there is one thing which is really important and that it's that you both change, I would say this one and this one. And you can do that by using the multiple options here, right? So you can set it to default, which is the default profile. You can set it to a yoke single engine prop or a yoke twin engine jet. So this is the yoke part. And then you also have this one, uh, which is the quad which is the, I would say, side, uh, side panel of the uh, joystick. And that one also has all the three options. So default, single engine prop, and twin engine jet. So to show you some of the examples, for example, if you look at the uh, power management, oh, oh, you will see that uh, in this case, they have mapped it to, let's say, two throttles, right? Well, of course, if you're having a single engine one, so let me switch to that one, you're having a complete different story because then you only need to have one throttle. So it's really important that you change both the profile on the joystick itself, as well as in flight simulator itself, and then make sure that both the uh, velocity one, uh, say left item and right item, so the yoke and the quad are set to the same profile. So here ends this video. In this video, we discussed how you can change the profiles of this uh, nice joystick. It's really important that you set them bo on both the joystick and in flight simulator to the same profile. And then you can enjoy, uh, the, I would say, the nice experience flying this joystick. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.